Yo, what's going on guys? Cinematic, and I wanted to talk about a few things today. Uh, first thing I wanted to talk about is these bandwagon hopping hipster, I don't even know what you call the motherfuckers, the social movement going on. Look, I understand that you want to feel like you have done something good for the day, or you've helped someone out, or you're changing the world. I understand this feeling that you want to get from this, but here is the, the truth about the matter when it comes to social media having an impact on society and doing something and changing something. Yes, it is very powerful, yeah, very powerful the message that you can relay through social media. The problem is that social media is just like music is now and everything else right now. It's all fast food. You want to be fed some information as quick as possible, and that's what you base your decisions off of, and the things that you support, and the things that you don't support. And the problem is that I know a lot of you guys are much smarter than this. You're much smarter than this. Come on now. How many times have you heard the phrase that there are always two sides to a story, never judge a book by its cover, blah, 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 all these kind of things? And, and what I'm getting at, guys, is. You know, when someone makes a video or whatever and it has a message in it and it goes viral by however it goes viral, however, you know, however that happens. I know some things go viral like the recent viral video through marketing and promotion and those guys spend a lot of money to make sure that you heard that in your ear. You heard this message in your ear. And um you know, some stuff by luck goes viral, you know, it's different ways, but a lot of times when something is really, really big, it's been marketed and promoted right, and that's not always the truth that you're getting, and I just find it strange how no one wants to go do a little research for an hour, half an hour, and find out if there's something else going on with the subject, if the, if the stuff that you're listening to is true or not, because... A lot of times, the information that you're getting, you're not getting all of the information and you're not getting 100% truth. And it's, to me, it's just crazy that you people just fall for anything. Like, you know, for instance, like, it takes people so long to realize if someone said Justin Bieber's dead and made a video about it and that video went viral, it would be all over Twitter. Oh my God, Justin Bieber's dead. People would just automatically tweet that out before they even go to look. Is he really dead? Come on now. If he was really dead, you could go to any news site and you would see it automatically up there. They would be talking about it. But that's just not how it works. Most of you guys just automatically jump on the bandwagon, the gravy train, or whatever and say, Oh my God, oh my God, Justin Bieber's dead. But he's not. But you see where I'm getting at with this, guys? It's really messed up. And I want to talk about a few other things real quick. And some of this stuff is going to probably, you know, I don't even know. Fuck with some people's head. I don't know. But everybody that knows me knows that my wife is black. I've never been racist in my life. Um, I have probably three to 400 uh, black family members in my city. You know, through marriage or whatever. And um, I just don't know... And I'm not even saying this for, like, black people. I'm saying this for more of the little white TD boppers that just jump on everything. Um, well, for one, for one, Uganda's done came out. The Uganda News, they've done interviews with people in Uganda and other things. They are against the Coney 2012 video. They're against it. They don't like it. They don't like the message that it puts out. They say that it's taking one little small chunk out of a big deal and um, making a big deal about it. They also all have reiterated that six years ago, it's been over six years since they've had any kind of um, dispute with Joseph Coney. Now, they all did say they would love to see the man caught, killed, or anything like that. But then they also all said that it's bad, this Coney 2012 video is bad for them because they haven't had any problems with him. You know, what if this sparks him to... Uh, come out of hiding and attempt to, you know, torture some more people or whatever. Um, anyways, you know, most of them said the same thing that I said in my Coney video that, you know, 
oh, now we want to come over there and save the world. They don't want us in their business. It's their business. So they don't really want us coming over there messing around with it. And uh, there's so many rumors flying around and so many things. You can look up and find facts. Um, and then you can take some of these rumors and do what you want with them. Uh, they recently found oil in Uganda. So they're saying that that's why the American uh, troops are over there. To help sustain, you know, what's going on and hopefully tap into some of that oil. And it's a sad fact, guys. That's what we do. That's what Americans do these days. We, um, our, our American government says, where is their oil? Let's go get it, God damn it. And that's pretty much just, I mean, look at it. Iraq, Iran, all these fucking shit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But, um. You know, I got a lot of these crazy comments on my channel. Some people are talking about, you know, slavery. They're talking about how we came and robbed uh, Africa people as slaves. And look, look, slavery was a horrible thing. Slavery still exists today. So if you're worried about slavery, go be active about it and work on getting rid of the slavery that is in the world today. There is slavery today. Um... One thing I wanted to point out about slavery, a few things I wanted to talk about that. It was a terrible fucking thing. Um, I was not alive during that time. I don't know if any of my family personally was alive during that time. If they were, then they were fucked up. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. It's been done in the United States for a while. I mean, it's been over. Um... I just I don't think it'll ever be let it'll never be let go, and I'm not saying like we should ever forget about it. But what I'm what I mean is, it's not happening now. We got to move on from that whole mentality of, oh slavery this slavery that. Uh, when it comes down to it, uh, a lot of people don't realize that Africa is just as guilty for slavery as European people, American people, whatever. Uh, plenty of slaves were sold by African kings. Sold. Not stolen. We didn't just run over there and steal everybody. Now, that did happen. I'm not going to lie. I, I've watched so much, you know, I get into black history. I get into world history. I get into, like, things that went on in the world in the past and things like that. That stuff interests me. Um, you know, African kings sold plenty of their slaves to the United States. Then the United States got greedy and went over there and stole some in the night, whatever, but, you know, none of that, you know, makes slavery any better. But I'm just pointing out some facts here that a lot of people don't know. And you can look into it. You can go look into it. There, it's, in, it's in history. It's there. It might not be in your school history book because school history books like to leave some stuff out. Like, for instance, on school history books, uh, all the Egyptian people are light-skinned. So, not put out to be black people. Egyptian people are black. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't know why our society is so scared to, you know, show that Egyptian people are black. I guess they're scared that they're, that we're going to think, you know, oh my God. You know, because that's where all religion came from was Egypt. That's where a lot of stuff happened. So, I don't know why they want to do that. That's just messed up to me. <clears throat> but anyways, um, I'm not a racist. People say because I got short hair or I'm bald. I do have, see, you can see it there in the camera now. I'm going bald. I'll probably be bald in another 10 or 15 years, but I like to keep my hair short. And some people, uh, and my camera's acting all fucked up. I'm not stopping this recording to redo it. Um, just because I have short hair, people say, oh, you're a racist redneck. No, not a redneck. Never been a redneck. Never been racist. Um, you can find anybody that's ever known me. I've never been a racist person. I've always had black friends. Um, I have a black wife. I have mixed children. Um, I despise racist slurs, period, across the board. Um, it's just not me. And um, hopefully, you know, I can't control it, but, you know, there's probably racist people that watch my videos, and that's fine, whatever. Um, a lot of racist white people, a lot of racist black people. There's a lot of racist Mexican people. We're never going to get past racism. And my message to all of you about that is the only way to get past racism yourself 
is to not be racist yourself. Not worry about who else is racist and who isn't. Just uh, do you and um, you know live by you know practice what you preach. It's another problem with America today. No one wants to practice what they preach. Um, I don't know. This video is getting really long. I just want to get on here and bullshit for with you guys for a little bit. Talk about a few things. But I do want to point something else out. For everyone who says that this Coney 2012 documentary is the truth and we got to get over there and do this and that. I just want you guys to go look. Some people were smart enough to start doing their research. And now all of a sudden, Invisible Children has disabled the comments and ratings on their video. Why is that? Why would they do that? If your message to you was the truth and wholehearted, like you, you believed in what you said, no matter what kind of hate you got, you would not disable your comments and your, your ratings. I have 2,000 more dislikes on my video than likes. I have a lot, of hate, lot more hateful comments than I have good comments. Guess what? I don't give a shit. I stand, I stand by what I say. And um, I'm not going to be no pussy bitch and back down and take off my comments and my fucking, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down button. I'm not going to do it. And um, to me, that just makes their stuff look even worse. They couldn't take the heat. They started getting a little heat on their video. Uh oh, oh, beep, beep, beep. No, no, no more comments. We can't have more comments. And I would tell you if you don't believe me to check it out, but. I don't want you to check it out because I don't even care if they get another view or not. I don't give a fuck. But I'm out this bitch. Peace.